Last summer, my brother made a perfect salsa using tomatillo, so I was really excited to find these small green fruits in my CSA box this week. So let's go ahead and give a similar recipe a try. Here's what you're going to need. About 12 tomatillos, a half a bunch of cilantro, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, one half of a yellow onion, one serrano chili pepper, one clove of garlic, one half teaspoon of salt, and one half of a lime. To start, I remove the husks from my tomatillos and place them into a bowl. Next, I smash one clove of garlic, remove its skin, and place it in the bowl alongside my tomatillos. I then slice my serrano chili pepper down the middle and remove the seeds using a spoon. Once the seeds are removed, I slice the pepper into quarters and place it in the bowl as well. At this point, I go ahead and heat a large skillet to medium-high heat. While my skillet is heating, I cut my onion in half, remove its skin, and slice it into large pieces. I toss this into the bowl as well. Next, I add about two tablespoons of oil to my pan and go ahead and drop my veggies in there. I shake the pan around a bit to cover everything in the oil and then I leave it there to char for a while. While this is taking place, I prepare the rest of the dish. To do this, I simply half a bunch of cilantro, remove the stems, and add it to my bowl. Next, I slice the lime in half and set it aside as well. And that's it. I check on my mixture, give it a stir every here and there, and keep an eye on it until it's ready to go. Once my tomatillos are blemished with black spots and the mixture is charred, I remove them from the heat and add them straight into my blender. Next, I add my cilantro, salt, and lime juice. I place the lid on top and process my mixture until it becomes blended, leaving behind some chunks of visible cilantro leaves. And that's it. Pour your salsa into a bowl and let it chill in a refrigerator. You can serve it alongside chips, on top of fish, or with your favorite type of taco or burrito. So thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you all next week with another CSA-inspired recipe.